Howdy. In this video, I'm going to kind of give you a cheat sheet for knowing when to use each test. I think that's going to be the hardest part, because if you go through all the videos, applying each test isn't too difficult. The hardest part is going to be knowing when do I use what. So this is going to be kind of a cheat sheet, so let's run through it real quickly. Uh, the way you know you're going to use geometric series is whenever you have just numbers raised to the end, that's a big giveaway that you're going to use a geometric series. Telescoping series is whenever you have things subtracted from each other, so like a fraction minus a fraction. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but 99 times out of 100, there will be two fractions subtracted from each other. Or if you recognize that you can do partial fraction decomposition to split that up in two different fractions. The lemma comparison, if you have all polynomials, now not necessarily just polynomials like square root of n's, cube root of n's, those work as well, but whenever you have just ends raised to a number, whenever they're basically, or they literally are all polynomials, that's an instant limit comparison test. For direct comparison test, it's when it's almost limit comparison. So what I mean by that is you do have polynomials, you have n squareds, n cubes, but thrown in there, you have sines and cosines, or exponentials like 2 to the n, 3 to the n. So you can't quite do the limit comparison to instantly get it, so when it's almost a limit comparison, almost all polynomials, but you're throwing extra stuff, that's a direct comparison. For the integral test, if you look at a series and you're like, wow, I could apply u sub to it, do the integral test. And then finally, ratio test. Ratio test I utilize whenever I see factorials and or exponentials. So hopefully this will be a good cheat sheet while studying for your exam. I would definitely have this out until you're comfortable recognizing um, a series and looking and knowing exactly what to do every time.